please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I try to jam-pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. I either have or will cover other parts of this franchise and this video either is or will be linked below. I'm not going to restate here what I did or will say in the other video. These videos get long enough as it is. Dinner for one movie, short movie thoughts. Just get this. Excuse me. There we go. Happy New Year! Yes, I wanted to do another video on this and to actually make it close to the New Year. Thoughts. Now, my version is 11 minutes long and has the sort of musical intro to it. Notes taken while watching. Oh, and James setting the table at the start. I love that he almost trips on the tiger's head immediately. It's one of the first things that happens. And he trip, almost trips getting the sherry. And... And it, it hurts to click his heels together as the Admiral, and then sometimes he can't hit. His, his one heel won't hit the other because he's so drunk. And he walks past, confused that he didn't almost trip on the tiger's head. And then he does, walking back to the table. And he, he's swinging around, his hand on the back of her chair because he can't quite turn without doing that. And then he spills on the plate and pours it into the cup. And, you know, he stops standing still when pouring, carefully steps over the tiger's head, and is about to drink, but then realizes he didn't pick up the cup. And he almost tips her chair backwards, pulling on it as he's turning. And he hits the, he, he starts to trip over the tiger's head and the plate goes flying. And he starts to run up the stairs and has, has trouble pronouncing same procedure. And he has to aim carefully to pour into the cups. And he jumps over the tiger's head and throws the water into the air the Admiral and spills it on the table, wipes it back in. I'll kill that cat. Now. Over analysis. I've tried to put into words what the short explores and why it's so effective, even after so many years, so many repeat viewings. And yes, I 100% admit this is over analysis, but I do think at least some of what I talk about here has something to it. You know, countless sketches of this basic kind have long since been forgotten, even though a number of them are on DVD or otherwise available. Anyway, here they are as headlines and then a brief elaboration of each. And 
I don't judge any of the following. And my reading is that it's not mean spirited in the short. You know, in in the case of lost someone and rich people ones, it's laughing because humor is the only way to face things like that. Now, that behavior is so human, I can relate to it. This can go for the drinking and the drunkenness and imagining yourself or someone you know personally drinking that much, especially in s such a short space of time and like not eating anything to try to, you know, he's only taking in alcohol. So it's really deeply affecting him. And, you know, since, since the sketch clearly plays out in real time, there's no, you know, Actually, I guess, yeah, sketches, I guess it's fairly standard to, for them to play out in real time. And let me just set my cell phone to silent. There we go. And, yeah, you know, it could be those, or it could just be the behavior in general. Everyone can understand tripping or almost tripping, especially when, say, drunk or otherwise facing impaired judgment. Drunk people are funny. This one is self-explanatory. You, you might be laughing at other people's drunkenness or your own and you know slapstick basically translate into seeing and laughing at people fall on their ass and such and drunkenness is a good way to explain why people are falling on their asses. We've all lost someone and want to hold on to that memory Ritual is one way we remember the people we've lost, and certainly a lot of people's fondest memories of their loved ones involve drinking, and drinking in general is a way to either remember or forget. And rich people refuse to let go of the habits they've grown accustomed to and abuse their staff in that interest. The evening would be so much more pleasant for James if he didn't have to pretend to be four people. Heck, since the ending distinctly hints that they even they sleep together every year, at least four times since all four are implied to be her lovers, it can be surmised that the relationship between James and Miss Sophie, at least in that way, is closer than quote-unquote just butler and master. Why not let him sit down, drink at his own pace, and eat? I mean, he can serve and, and then eat too, you know, that's what you do in like family situations, you know, the one of the people are, you know, putting the food on the table and then sitting down and getting to eat. And, you know, I, I totally get that she might not herself be physically strong enough to help serve, you know, it's not a pretty picture if she's like dropping some of the food or something. and. You know, it's, it's called dinner for one in English, but other countries do have it as the 90-year birthday. Yeah, you know, a 90-year-old doesn't have the best, yeah, con control over their, what's it called? Motor, fine motor skills, I think, yeah. And I appreciate that the sex joke ending is so vague that the kids don't get it. Really, children can easily watch this short. Although I suppose this particular video probably should be viewed by children. But then I don't really make videos for children. Except occasionally when reviewing something that children might. Yeah. And even then... And, you know, others have already mentioned, there's some comfort in being able to watch the exact same thing year after year, especially at New Year's, which is always threatening us with a new year where we don't know what will come. And, yeah. Just switch documents. Rotten tomatoes. Now, while the tomato meter is 
not available for this one. The audience score is 84% with an average rating 4.1 out of 5 and 389 user ratings. And I don't understand why it's not higher, but you know, I guess a number of people just aren't really into it. And critics. Now, James impersonates each of the four imaginary guests, which he does in such admirable style that at the end we feel we know each of them so very well, and I have to agree with that. A story about conservatism. This short is definitely one of the funniest short films ever created. It is easier to Easy to consider it a simple stupid slapstick with a guy acting drunk and or making fun of old people, but then you miss the point. This is not primarily about drunkenness or age, it is about British conservatism, and maybe that's why the British people never cared much for it, while other Europeans love it. Note that Miss Sophie is not suffering from senile dementia, she knows exactly what she wants. She wants things to be just like they always were. Poor James does his best to fulfill her wishes, and has, as he gradually drops out of his role, while Miss Sophie still insists that everything should be done after the same procedure as every year, things get truly hilarious. And yeah, I think there's definitely something to that. And yes, I did write my overanalysis segment before reading these reviews, so yeah, overlap. Yeah. And yeah. It's still, no matter how much I feel I write for this, it's still never going to be that long of a video on the short. This is barely longer than the, the short itself, but yeah, absolutely love it. Watch it every single year.